All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna to be bringing you guys some more Feaster gameplay. And this time around, we will be at Lakeside Village going against a prisoner, batter, mercenary, and seer. So the most optimum targets would probably be the seer or prisoner. And as you can see, I did bring peepers. And starting out early, I did spot these tracks right now and i did find that it is the seer so immediately i'm just gonna do a charged attack and i did get the hit on the seer it was totally unexpected and right now this early hit was able to give the seer enough space to transition to another area but now i am quickly catching up so i put this tentacle over here bait him to use the owl and another charge attack and I did get the hit and it is an early down. And now Seer is out of items because I did bait him to use the owl and with a follow up hit and he went down. So with the amount of time he kited he also probably wouldn't have enough time to generate even half of the owl. So now I'm going to start my defense with this peeper and immediately I did spot the mercenary over here. So I did catch him at this awkward spot and because of that terror shock, I was able to get to max presence. So now I get the curse mark on him first and I'm preventing him to come in for an immediate rescue. However, the only awkward thing is that I am out of tentacles. So I did get this smack on him and I did get the last hit on the mercenary. So right now, prisoner popped the cipher and batter is going to come in to harass and buy as much time as possible for the seer to try to get an owl so as you can see it could have been an easy hit on the seer but he the batter was able to buy enough time to let the seer escape so now did get this tentacle hit onto the seer and now batter doing some really good hits over here and coming in with the follow-up so right now i know that he used one of his um, rage balls so i am going to destroy this one which means he only has one left but that doesn't seem to be the case because he has two so right now I did get this hit on him and then I'm pretty sure he did not notice the tentacles around him and I was able to get this sneaky snipe and so it was a double down on the mercenary and right now that he's healed up batter is down trying to protect the seer now I'm just gonna destroy this connection and I'm gonna now I'm gonna continue with this uh, defense and spotting out where this prisoner is I can harass the ciphers from a distance and now the mercenary was able to make this rescue but the thing is Seer can't go anywhere and Batter has used the self heal to heal himself So right now, I did bait the prisoner to use this shock. And now Batter is going to try to come in to harass even more. But then my ultimate hitbox was able to down him. And right now, because of the peeper that I planted, uh, Seer wasn't able to get up as quickly as possible. And right now... I'm going to skip the batter and focus on the prisoner because he is going to be the main decoder right now and the most optimum target because he did use his shock and so now I get my first hit on him and over here he is going to be rotating in the shack area and I'm going to plant the peeper so that I have more vision of where he is. So right here I missed this tentacle but it's okay. 
I'm just gonna block this route and get the hit. So right now there is still three ciphers remaining. However, I do think that a few of them have already had a lot of progress on it. But there will still be a lot of um, progress to be made because now we have two of the slowest decoders in the game and one of them is going to come in for the rescue so batter was able to pull off this rescue but then the only cost is that all of them are now injured and the next person who comes into rescue probably couldn't make the rescue and now prisoner is just going to try to die at the corner so that he does not disrupt any decoding progress and right now there is a choice that I could just immediately switch teleport and teleport onto the next survivor but I plan to play it safe and I'm just gonna guard this prisoner until he dies and wait for my next move because both of them are pretty injured right now and I did see a cypher that is moving so right now I'm just gonna stay in this area and I did spot out the mercenary so I am just going to commit to this mercenary and even if I am not able to get him down I can still waste his items and now as you can see there is one cypher remaining and mercenary is gonna have slow self-healing so I'm just gonna plant the peepers to make it even slower so that I have enough time to down the batter and with this tentacle smack I am able to spot out where the location of the batter is and over here I did spot out the batter and so I planted this tentacle but he was able to choke it able to get this hit after he was dodging the tentacles with his fancy moves and now I'm gonna plant peepers over here and go back to chair the mercenary and yeah this is basically a four person elimination and uh, I'm just gonna come here and do whatever I need to do, which is chairing this guy. So, uh, yeah, that is it for the video, and I'm just gonna go back and chair batter. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.